Ladies and gentlemen, for a while, there has been a giant stain on the content creation community. By a particular content creator that goes by the name of Sneeko. Now, the problem with Sneeko is he has always just been problematic. That's been his whole shtick, essentially, for his whole career. He says stuff, then he knows it's wrong, and then he knows it's gonna get people mad. That's his whole shtick. But more recently, he has been exposing a side of himself that isn't just rage bait or isn't just trying to say wrong and outlandish things for the sake of views. He is showing a side of him that is genuine pedophilia. And this is something that needs to be exposed. This is something that needs to be called out because what he says, what his beliefs are and the beliefs that he stands by are, is, is straight up pedophilia. Now before I get into the pedophilia, I do just want to show an example of the general type of person that he is so you can just get a good idea of Sneeko. Because while pedophilia, you can grasp just how bad someone is for doing that, I want you to get an idea of what his character and who he has been before this stuff has been started to get spewed out by him. So you know just how much of a piece of shit he is. I have always been a cheater. Like I've always inherently <laughs> wanted to cheat. And uh, I've had several relationships where it's just like, and I, this is part of the reason that red pilled me. So I, I was in uh, different relationships and I just, I constantly wanted to, to sleep around, but I felt shamed at, in, to, and, but I'm like, me wanting to cheat has nothing to do with my girlfriend. It has nothing to do with it. And so they make you seem like a bad person. Now, I don't really know the full context to the clip, but the clip itself is pretty self-explanatory. Um, what the fuck? To sit there and say that you cheating has nothing to do with your girlfriend or your relationship is just outrageous. Because without your girlfriend or your relationship, it wouldn't be cheating. It inherently has everything to do with that. And, and like, I guess he might mean like her being poor or bad or whatever, but like, dog, it, it has everything to do with it. And then the thing that really like, kind of was like, huh, you are a major piece of shit. It's like, he's like, I shouldn't feel guilty about it. You cheated, Sneeko. You, f what the fuck? Now, I do think it is funny to point out the fact that he got exposed a while ago for being a cuck. He went from cheater to cuck. Cheater to being cheated on, pretty much, if you look at it from that point of view. Now that you have an idea of the piece of shit that Sneeko is, I want to show you the first little tidbit of pedophilia that this man has decided to engage in because this take is just possibly the most outlandish thing I've ever heard. Last thing, says Valkyrie. Yuck, says Pokimane. Everyone hates you, but as soon as that second hits midnight, then she can sign up on OnlyFans, sell her body, and then everyone's gonna parade around and say, you go queen, you're an independent girl boss, slay. Clown world. So the context to this clip is that Sneeko made a tweet defending Dr. Disrespect, known and self-admitted child predator. This man was 42 and texted a 17-year-old inappropriately, in his own words, admitted to it. Sneeko, knowing that he admitted to it, made a tweet defending him. So two popular streamers known by Valkyrie and Pokimane replied with a little bit of hate comments, very deservingly so, because what the fuck? And Sneeko decides it's a good idea to start parading them and sexualizing them. When, let me point this out, neither one of the two have an OnlyFans, neither one of the two have a Patreon, neither one of the two post anything explicit. They are gaming streamers exclusively, and he is accusing them of selling their bodies for money. I don't know everything about Dr. Disrespect, but what is the, like, let's break it down. Pokimane pretty much does softcore porn for 14 year old boys. Her audience is 95% men who are jerking off the entire stream. Oh, pokey, pokey, I wanna poke you, pokey. Twitch, I might get banned on Twitch by saying this, but it is what it is, bro. They run Twitch because they are turning people into simps. And simping is them. Here's another 3,000 gifted. Ding, ding. Uh, uh, jerking off all day. Most of them are teenagers. Most of them are underage. It doesn't even matter to them because Switch is 13 plus. So they're okay if you're 13 years old edging to Pokemon all day. Now, surely you would figure if for someone to go on a rant like that, on that 
magnitude and to make an accusation that bold on someone they would have to have some crazy fucking like breast in the camera all the time literally shaking ass on stream right you would you would figure so let me show you what a pokemon clip looks like Last player listen up you will my Sneeko, if that's softcore porn to you, other than cuties, I'm very curious on to what you jack off to. Because it's just gaming. I don't think anyone is getting their fucking meat off to that, dude. The fact that you're sitting there sexualizing teenage boys like that over gaming clips says a lot more about you than it does anything about her, nevertheless, her fan base. I don't even like Pokemon. She said some terrible fucking things in the past. But like, to make an accusation like that, and for it to hold absolutely zero ground, because like I showed, it's fucking gaming. But if Dr. Disrespect text a girl who's 17 years old, 11 months, 364 days, 59 minutes and 59 seconds, he's the worst person ever. Yeah, that is exactly how it works there, buddy. So you're telling me Dr. Disrespect text a child and suddenly he's the worst man ever? Let's use your brain, Sneeko. Let's use your brain here. Regardless of how many hours or seconds you want to add onto it, that's a 17 year old child. Dr. Disrespect is a 42 year old man. Married man, might I add. That married man with a child, I think. So. You're not only defending a pedophile, you're defending a pedophile that cheated on his wife and a pedophile that has a child. Why? Someone tell me how that makes any sense. And as soon as that second goes away, she's a prostitute, everybody cheers. Nico, I'm gonna try and dumb this down for someone as dumb as you. In America, when you reach the age of 18 and up, you become a legal adult. It doesn't matter how mature you were a year before or before that. What matters now is that you turn 18, you are legally able to get married. That's what matters. So when someone who is not only over 18, but well over 18 goes and talks inappropriately to a 17 year old, someone who is not classified as an adult yet, regardless of what you think their maturity is, that's a crime. That's pedophilia. You're not allowed to do it. That's why people are treating like the worst people ever. Now, OnlyFans. Do I think it's the best thing ever? No, not necessarily. However, is it prostitution? No, not at all. You cannot compare that shit to prostitution because for one, you're not selling your fucking body physically. It's essentially like buying porn. Do I think that's weird? Yeah, because fucking why would you ever do that? Am I gonna fucking hate on the person doing it? No, because get your fucking money. Like what? You don't hate on drug dealers because they're getting their money. I don't see how you can hate on them for getting their money. But the other thing is Pokimane nor Valkyrie has an OnlyFans. Neither one of them do the thing you're complaining about. The double standard you're making up in your head doesn't even work here because neither one of them have an OnlyFans. Like, your point is just running around in circles of a double standard that doesn't exist. Side of the woke degeneracy, and that's why I will continue to defend the movie Cuties until Moist Critical decides to debate me about it. Nobody who hates the movie Cuties has seen it. Hey, Sneeko, there's a very good reason for that. The reason people who hate on cuties have never seen it is because it's child pornography. And people don't wanna watch child pornography because that's illegal and weird. It's about an Islamic family that moves from West Africa to France, a woke country that's literally on fire right now. And the daughter of the family gets corrupted by TikTok and starts dancing provocatively and leaves her Islamic values behind. She goes from a good Muslim girl to a degenerate wokey, lying, twerking, and fighting. And there it is. You just admit that these little girls dance provocatively in the movie. You just admitted that these teenage girls dance provocatively in the movie. I don't even think they're teenage, actually. I think they're like 12. You just admitted that these 12-year-old girls dance provocatively in this movie. And that you, in your own words, is your new 
favorite movie when it came out. I like that movie because I see it as another version of my life. I started YouTube at 11 years old and following the trends of social media before God led me to complete degeneracy. You like child porn because you feel as though it's similar to your story? I'm from someone who did content creation at a young age. If I saw a trend that was degenerate or just not a good trend, you know what I did? I didn't do the trend because I wasn't degenerate. You're a degenerate now and you were back then. You're a bigger one now, however, though, because you can't get much more degenerate than pedophilia. Now, I'm, I'm atheist. I don't do, I don't fuck with that whole God thing. But I would only imagine that he wouldn't tell you to be a pedophile. That, that's just my food for thought, though. Consent should be maturity. It's not even 18 in most states. Why do you even believe that? It's because in Hollywood, it's 18, so that gets pushed everywhere. Most places succeed. And if you question that, then they call you a pedo. I believe the age of consent is the age of maturity. It should be called the age of marriage. Age of consent implies that you're gonna have out of wedlock. I think it's better that people get married at 16, 17 than to have a bunch of premarital until they're 30 and they're washed up and then they get jaded and they're on birth control and they have dried up eggs. I think that's better for society. All right, Sneeko, now do me a favor. How do we define the age of maturity? How do we say that one 15 year old is more mature than the other one? Go. You can't. It's almost like you just want teenagers to be able to date you because you want to be able to have sex with teenagers. And absolutely, if you're going to agree with the age of consent being 16, you're a pedophile. Simple as that, you're a pedophile. There's no arguing that. It doesn't matter if it is, it shouldn't be. And if you agree that it should be that, you're a pedophile. Now, as for the thing he said about you would rather have 16 and 17 year olds getting married, you're insane. You would rather have children get married than people have sex. Like, I don't know why you're also assuming that people are just gonna be banging every second of every day. And like why you would assume changing the age of consent to 17 or 16 would change that. I think more people are gonna get married that way. You think that's gonna change? People generally don't wanna get married until their 20s. That's not something regarding the age of consent. That's something regarding just people's nature. Most people don't wanna get married at 16 or 17 because financially and just as a life choice, it's a stupid, horrible decision. Even as a grown up, it's a horrible decision to get married because most of them end in divorces. So like, what is your thought process here, Sneeko? Thing under 18. If is, you are under that's 18, exactly you're a child. what a child you, is. Yeah. I think that is a great line in the sand. If you are under 18, you are a child. Your scenario earlier was if a 16 and a 21 year old, if it, both parties were consent, if the father was okay with it, the mother was okay with it, why not? Tell me a reason why that's wrong. Because you're one getting- One is a child, one is not a child. That's the point. This clip is from a debate he had with Moist Critical in which Moist Critical just kind of fucking beat his ass throughout the entire debate. And they got on the topic of consent because that's what Sneeko's whole thing has been recently, and he was trying to justify how a 21 year old and a 16 year old can marry. There's no universe where that's justifiable. Obviously, there's no universe where that's justifiable. Now, he then afterwards stupidly, like, I don't know if he just realized what he was saying was crazy or whatever, but for some reason he tries to bring in trans kids into it, which that argument fails miserably for him because it was unrelated and just doesn't matter. So this is just further like proof of him being weird about these dumbass fucking cars. It's just more proof of him being a weirdo about wanting to date teenagers. When you hear guys like Soul and guys like Moist and everyone say like 14 year old, 15 year old, that's little kids. Like even the debate Moist is like 14 year olds are playing with dolls. Nigga, do you remember being 14? What 14 year old is playing with dolls? When I was 14, Everything everybody talked about was sex. When I was 14, 15, people were having sex in school. That's very common. I'm sure so, like same thing when he was in eighth grade, ninth grade, bro, people were fucking. He probably lost to Virginia around the same age. Another crazy and just flat out incorrect take from Sneeko, who would have thought? At 14, I was playing Fortnite, Sneeko. At 14, I can show you what I was playing with at 14. 14, I was playing with shit like this. At 14, I was doing that because I was still a child. At 14, I was watching cartoons for the majority of my day. 
At 14, I was playing basketball. At 14, I was trying to make YouTube videos. I don't know what kind of fucking degenerate shit you were on at 14, but I can tell you for the vast majority of people, when they were 14, they weren't going to some fucking game beings and shit. They were sitting there watching cartoons. They were sitting there playing with toys. They were sitting there maybe fucking hanging out with friends, but they aren't fucking like running trains on each other, Sneeko. You're the one that is trying to sexualize these teenagers for literally no reason. 14, 15. What's better? So... Is it better that people lose their virginities? They have a lot of group sex. They change their gender. They do gay stuff. They do crazy things. Or like the girls, 14, 13, they start getting fucked and passed around by the other boys in high school. Because you can still be, there could still be predatory boys in high school. A 17-year-old football player and the 14-year-old freshman. So you can sit there and admit that a 17-year-old going for a 14-year-old is predatory. But somehow... A 21-year-old going for a 16-year-old isn't, and somehow a 42-year-old going for a 17-year-old isn't. Now that doesn't make sense. So I would very much rather have my child change their gender or be gay than fucking end up anything like you, than end up a pedophile and for them to end up with a pedophile. Any of that are better, like literally anything you said is a better option than what you are proposing. That, those guys, the senior football player, fucks those girls all the time. But technically, it's not predatory because it's under the age of 18. They're both under 18, all this stuff. Isn't it better that once a girl, if she's at that age, that she has the ability to get married and she's protected from all these predators rather than get passed around by the basketball team? See, advocating for the age of marriage is protecting women because the age of consent allows and encourages for premarital sex. It encourages people to have sex out of wedlock. And that's how people end up becoming transgender. They experiment so much. They do all the, these deviant acts that at one point they need to level up and now they're, they're cutting their penis off. Nico, let's use our heads here. The reason it's called the age of consent is because it's the age you are legally allowed to consent to sex. Because that's the most, among a lot of other things, that's the most important one. Because believe it or not, because for some reason you have this weird thing with premarital sex, uh, you don't have to be married to have sex. Nowhere does it say that. So I don't know why you are so fucking, like, crazy about premarital sex. But say they do change it from age of consent to age of marriage. How does that, how does that prevent premarital sex? Tell me. If they change the, the name of it. How, how is that? That doesn't change anything, Sneeko. You are just so deluded by your pedophilia and perverted thoughts that you just aren't even saying shit that makes sense anymore. I also very much like this best like point out, that's not at all how trans people come about. You are born transgender. It's not just something that fucking happens because, ooh, I want to be a sexual deviant. You're born that way, buddy. Just like you were born fucking stupid. For you to sit there and turn your pedophilia into trying somehow make that a rip on the trans community is actually outrageous. This has been the evisceration of Sneeko though. I hope I have provided you with enough to the point where we can all collectively try and get this guy off of this space of content creation because frankly he just doesn't belong here. He doesn't belong in society at all, he's a pedophile, but he certainly doesn't belong in a realm of content creation, especially in a realm that has so many children um so i hope he can spread the word hopefully get his rumble take it down hopefully get whatever even streams on that i don't even know what he streams on nowadays because he's gotten banned from so many shit but hopefully whatever it is we can get that shit taken down i hope you guys enjoyed this one i'll see you guys in the next one bye